Fred Storage Minor Hockey made its own drastic changes to contact before this even happened. Some see it as a move to keep players in the game safe and save on injuries. Some others, though, look at it, it will help with development. Those involved in hockey are not totally shocked. Hitting has been removed from Pee Wee Hockey. In fact, last year, PG Minor Hockey took body contact out of a few of their leagues, but they still think there will be an adjustment to this Canada-wide rule. It's going to change for the rep teams. Last year, um, it came up on the BC um, AGM as well to take hitting out. So the PG Minor Hockey Association took our club division, um, realizing that we we're going to get hitting. We took it out of all our club divisions. So those are the boys in Midget, Bantam, and in Pee Wee that were hitting. We took that out. We just uh, left it in the rep divisions. And the news of taking hitting out didn't catch some local coaches off guard. They just hope it will help the game in the long run. I was and, and I wasn't. It's, you know, I think what they're looking at is to have better skilled players at the national level, you know, with, uh, with world juniors and stuff like that, where the players don't have to worry about, you know, getting body checked and not being confident in, in playing the game in all areas of the arena. And you start to see that a little bit once it comes into peewees and then, uh, and then more so into Bantams. Some minor hockey associations are just going back to where they were before. When I grew up out east, we didn't start checking until Bantam. So for me, it, it seems like it's kind of the norm. Uh, but then that being said, you know, it's been in Pee Wee, even in Nova Scotia for I think the last probably 10, 15 years. So, you know, it has its positives and negatives. You know, there's the research behind the injuries. But the players like Dan Zimmerman, who are going into their second year of Pee Wee, will notice the biggest change. I guess it's a good and bad thing because the good thing would be less injuries and the bad thing would be it'd be hard to like transition from no body checking to body checking to no body checking and then in bantam body checking again. 220 kids played peewee hockey in Prince George last year. The local association isn't expecting that to drop off. We have heard you know through Twitter and through emails that there are people concerned. Um, but nothing really major. I don't think our, our numbers will change at all because of this. We won't see the full impact of body checking in Pee Wee until the season starts in September.